And just like that, it's going to tell me we are um, setting up our webinar and uh, then I will do the introductions and uh, get us started. And we're just going to have a wonderful conversation. Awesome. And we are officially live now. So the exciting thing, everyone, this is our Freedom Friday. And as always in our Freedom Friday, we choose powerful influencers and leaders that we are blessed to know and appreciate so that we can inspire our listeners and our followers with wisdom and nuggets and just joyful opportunities to grow. And this beautiful lady, Miss Ms. Melissa Holy, I always want to add the extra uh, joyful um, elegance that I enjoy about you. Uh, and she came to mind the other day as I was talking to a young lady about the courage and grit and that uh, she exemplifies. And uh, mm -hmm. Melissa, thank you for taking the time to join us. Thank you for uh, sharing your your joy, your commitment, your courage. Educate us. What caused you to join us today? And what's something that's coming to mind to make sure we share with our audience? Thank you, April. And good morning, everybody. There's no place I'd rather be than right here, right now. Um, this is a great opportunity. And I'm, I'm just so excited to kind of share my story and uh, what's been part of my journey so far. Um, well, I, I really want the audience to know that you know so much in life can change so quickly as we all know. Um, but when we have uh, our courage and our grit that you know stirs up inside of us to help us get through some of these tough times um, in our, our careers, our businesses, and in our lives, uh, it really can change everything. And this is something that has just become my passion. Um, it's been my passion for quite a while, but now it's actually become my business focus. And so it's very exciting. Um, God is opening some new doors for me to take me out of a corporation that I owned for many years and onto kind of a new road. And, and so I, I just have a lot of new things going on. And um, even though it's a, a challenging time, <laughs> um, I'm just excited because I know that there's so much ahead. And not just for me, but for all of us um, as to opportunity and things getting better if we just stay in there and keep our courage and our grit strong. I love the way you said that. And you've got quite a story. And I'd love for you to share the journey you've been on uh, because there's, as we discussed before we set up, is there's quite levels of that journey that prepared you for where you are today. And I think it'll really inspire those that are listening. Right. Well, um, April knows this about me. I'm, I'm a risk taker. I have been uh, for many years, um, but common sense risk taker. I think there's a difference with that. Um, and so I had an opportunity back in 2013. I was uh, in real estate as an investor and a realtor for many years. And I enjoyed that, that line of work, but I had an opportunity to open up to, um, to own a staffing company. I didn't have any background in staffing but um, I just thought to myself that it's something that I can work hard, I can learn, and I can maneuver this. And so I went ahead and I stepped into the opportunity. It completely rocked my world, changed my world, and it opened up so much to me to learn. So it was all, um, it was an amazing, amazing experience. And you were an entrepreneur long before you were real, in the real estate world, and now you're an entrepreneur again. So tell me the back in uh, the before the real estate and then where you are today and what you what you feel called for where you're at with it right so um actually entrepreneurship started very early for me back uh in my 20s i had an opportunity to uh, work through a talent agency and to do um singing professionally and that was very exciting but it took a lot of courage uh, i traveled all over including internationally to japan a couple times and um that really taught me so much about more than anything about myself and that um, I was able to take on new opportunities and to, um, you know, to stay strong in that. So all of that kind of builds into a pyramid of where we go through life. We carry that forward. Um, so I was able to really use that experience as I worked into other opportunities later on. And now the door has opened for you to be a presence to a specific audience, any specific audience you want to talk about, anything particular you want to mention in regards to, because one of the things we work on in Freedom Friday and to prepare you for one of the questions we love to ask is, you know, what do you, how do you define leadership? How do you 
what do you think is the biggest characteristic of that leadership journey you've been on that you can inspire somebody with today? And then the final question, and then I'll allow you to share anything else you want to share, is what perception have you had to overcome? And you can choose them in whatever order you want to choose them <laughs> and uh, whatever is on your heart. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot, as you know, <laughs> yes. take it as little or as long as you like. Well, as far as my audience, um, I've had the honor of being able to help a lot of people um, to work towards success in their careers and their businesses. The staffing world is very interesting because it connects two sources. You're not only working with people in their careers and, and helping them to step forward in that, but you're helping businesses stay strong too. You are working with filtering people um, to get them to the right place. I used to always call myself a matchmaker. Um, and so it was an interesting process, but I did see what stalled people. And a lot of times that was fear-based um, and it was something that they had the skills. I mean, they were right there, but there was just something that blocked them from, from going forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that not just in the individuals, but also in the businesses too. So it, there came an opportunity where I just felt, um, I felt like God was leading me in a new direction. I was kind of taking all this in. Um, after six years of ownership, the staffing world, uh, running that in California, um, was becoming a little bit burdensome. <laughs> we'll put it that way. And so I felt like I was being led to take that, um, the, the uh, skills that I had learned and be able to take that outside the box. Um, you know, with, with a lot of the different things that happened I felt like I couldn't hug people anymore. Mm -hmm. I felt like I had to just be on eggshells with everything I would say, everything I would do as the CEO of a company. Um, you, you have a lot of exposure there. Mm -hmm. So getting outside that box was so exciting for me because I was, I was able to now take my messages and be able to share them from my heart to the people, to the audience that I wanted to help to, to change um, as far as uh, their opportunities and, and, and their progression. So um, I'm really interested in helping the people that are in the building process, building their careers, building their businesses, even building up themselves in their, their courage and their grit to get out there and take on more opportunity, to take on more risks in their life. Uh, because there's so much that we miss out on uh, when we don't have that foundation of courage and grit. Um, and I have to say that a lot of times that, that you know, we, we function with just staying active every day. And so when we run into opportunity that can, we know doors open and close every day in life and in business and careers, and if we're not prepared, then a lot of times we're, we're you know, flustered, we're, we're in the spur of the moment. But when you can actually really get grounded so that you know, I'm looking for this opportunity, I'm ready for this opportunity, and you know that about yourself and you believe that about yourself, as soon as that door opens, you are ready to walk through it. And it makes all the difference in the world to prepare that mindset in advance rather than just waiting for opportunity to come. And now all of a sudden you have to, uh, you know, work in the, the uh, react rather than respond in the spur of the moment. And we don't make our best decisions that way. So preparing in advance really gives you um, so much ammunition to do uh, more, you know, than you ever expected, um, and, and do it better. It really does. Melissa, I, there's so many things you said there. I, I love the definition of luck is the preparedness meeting opportunity. And, uh, that is what I heard you say is your opportunity is to empower, inspire individuals with the faith, the confidence, the awareness of how they can have intention right. for and be seeking the doors that are, are ready to open and have the awareness to know how to see them. And I say, I said to a CEO recently, I said to him, I said, you know, it's interesting speaking to people that don't have ears to hear and, mm -hmm. uh, and trusting and remembering that it's not your job to help them have ears to hear. They get to choose whether or not they want to walk down that path. And it's interesting. Uh, that leads me to that second question to, that I started to prepare you for. <laughs> and uh, the, the exciting part about it is there's, I've never seen much that you are not able to prepare for and process. Uh, and the 
the gift of the journey I've watched with you is no matter the challenge, no, ma no matter the obstacle, you're determined to quietly, patiently, peacefully determine how God wants to lead you through it. And uh, you have always been obedient to that. And I've always enjoyed watching you with that. And the gift that I'd love for you to share with our listeners is for you in that perception, when, as you were overcoming any perceptions you ran across, what's the one that comes up for you the most? Well, I am, and I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, I am, I am a strong woman of faith, always have been, and this is what has carried me through, you know, being able to jump in with all the things I have in my, in my life. Um, and, and God is so faithful. He really is to, to show us things that we don't know. Uh, because a lot of times, you know, I, I talk a lot in my messages about uh, new territory, you know, mm -hmm. because the unfamiliar is so uncomfortable to many people. Um, and if we can change that around and actually start to look at it with excitement and enthusiasm, you know, that's where our grit gets stirred up when we really want to see that side of ourselves. So um, every, everything that I have been able to do is only by the strength of God in my life. And I was thinking about this the other day, April, that you know, it's one thing when God opens the doors, I thank him. I say, Lord, thank you so much for the opportunity. But even more, Lord, I thank you for giving me the courage to take on that opportunity, to step up and to do it. Because I think that there's nothing that we might regret more one day than to have, you know, a, an amazing opportunity open up and to look back and just, just think about what, what it could have brought to our lives, you know. And uh, so, even if we try something that doesn't work out, <clears throat> we, we never lose mm -hmm. because we can take that. It makes us stronger for what's ahead. And a lot of times if we're tested in the small things, like how we might handle that, we get the bigger things. So it, it really is all a process. And, and I have to say that, you know, one year I, I formed my goals is that I'm a very strong goal setter mm -hmm. in writing, <laughs> but I formed my goals one year in a pyramid shape. And it's kind of funny, it came to me, but I thought, you know, this is really what my life and my career is all about. I'm building from that foundation up. And, and everything that I had was building on top of skills that I had, so they were becoming more. But the biggest thing that I saw was that the old stuff that I was using and bringing into the new stuff, it, it, it had a whole new dimension to it. You know, if I did sales in one place, now I had a whole new dimension. So it was like a refining process, you know, taking the old, blending it with the new, you know, becoming stronger in that new dimensions in that. And it was just amazing to be able to see how this was all molding together in, in what now is kind of a cool concept I've been reading and hearing about called convergence. Mm -hmm. And that's where you know, all these things, our skill set, our gifts, our talents, they're all converging to a place that is putting us in the passion of our hearts, the place in our lives, the opp opportunity really to serve of a lifetime of what we were designed to do. And that is the most exciting place to be is to be able to take, you know, all of those things and work towards that place that we are going to come together and fulfill what, what we're really, you know, called to do in a very special and unique way that nobody else can fill, only we can. And we want to be able to get there and to be able to serve that and do it well. Melissa, there's a, another quote, uh, a beautiful lady uh, shared and says, we all have a unique fingerprint to make our unique impact. And I wholeheartedly agree with that. I think you are a living example of that. And the curiosity that I'd love for you to share and anything else that comes to mind to close this and wrap us up and uh, is what encouraged, inspired, empowered the grit concept? What, where did, what made you choose that word? What made you choose to really stand on that platform and educate me? Right. So grit, you know, I really prayed about a business name and I, I really wanted something, you know, that might be a little bit more, I don't know what I was looking for, but anyway, God gave me grit and he said, grit is your story. And I want you to go with grit. Um, and so in my, my logo is a mountain, which to me has a lot of significance. And, and, you know, at first I thought that the mountain was, you know, for other people, kind of that triangle of, 
you know, different things that we go through. But then I've realized it really is for me. And it's, <laughs> you know, it, it's a big part of my story. But it's taken a lot of courage. I've been through a lot of things in my life. And I've also hit a season where I was, you know, um, knocked down pretty hard. And, um, and, and it took everything to come out of that. But when I did come out of it, I came out stronger and more determined than ever before. So I have a lot of things in my life that really formed that foundation and my focus on grit. Um, because that, you know, courage can, can get us in motion, but it's the grit that keeps us going. And to me, when I think about people, that's sometimes the missing link. Mm -hmm. uh, they have enough courage to do something amazing quickly or for a season, but then it gets lost and they go back to a path of least resistance or to a very average, mediocre um, place in their thinking, mm -hmm. where if they have grit, they can take all of that and they can just keep moving that ball forward and they can get to higher and better places um, and, and do so much more. But it's just a matter of making sure that you you use those muscles, you know, you gotta you gotta keep taking risks and you got to keep yourself strong and you have to do some of these mental exercises that really form that layer of grit. Um, it's not something that is just going to come automatically. So preparing it before, thinking about it before, doing all those things in preparation uh, is really a key ingredient, I feel, to lead us to powerful success and to be used um, in our purpose in a more significant way. And I would love for you to wrap us up with the perfect uh, key scripture that you uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, in our previous conversation that I would love to leave everybody with uh, is just, and they can reach out to your website. They can reach out. We'll put some details in the commentaries as you uh, like. And the most important in, as a coach for many years now, as you've watched my journey, uh, I have learned the gift of being able to create community, the gift of being able to inspire and lead people to who they're called to, to be connected with. And as you said, we're all already equipped we're just refining the ability to trust that process, to trust who we trust and to move into a space where we allow the next step to happen. Right. What would, what would you like to share to close this out? Uh, well, what I said earlier, and I have so many favorites that just keep me grounded, but, um, but one I particularly draw off of for my grit, and that is Jeremiah 33, three, that says, um, when you call on me, I will answer and I will tell you mighty things you do not know. And I'm telling you, when you're in unfamiliar territory, when you are um, needing to have those answers, you know, when the next step is kind of dark and it's unfolding, um, that is the place to go. And he has never failed me. I mean, things that I've jumped into that I, I just thought, I don't know how to do this. Um, he said, I will take you and I'll, I'll get you to the resources. I'll get you to the connection. I'll get you to the people, the time, the places everything you need to be able to put it together and that's what he did in the staffing business and that's what he's done in my life and my career every part of it he will always show me how to do the things i don't know how to do and he is faithful like that so it's been awesome you are a leader walking by faith not by sight and complete commitment and trust and congratulations i'm excited to watch your explosion of uh and inspiring courage and grit and uh, making a huge impact as I always know you do. Thank you for joining us. Thank you everyone for uh, sharing your comments, your thoughts and uh, have an amazing weekend, everyone. We'll see you again soon. Yes. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you. Bye-bye everyone.